Good evening, Karina Cavallo with ABC News. Queensland could have a new opposition leader by this time tomorrow. Just hours from now, the LNP will hold a party room meeting where a motion is to be moved to hold a leadership challenge. Campaigning contenders. You know me, I'm keen on efficiency. The two challengers have made their case, with Mr Manda leading the charge. I don't think people are looking for professional politicians. What they're looking, looking for is people who are uh, authentic and people that are willing to serve the, the, uh, the Queensland public and uh, I believe I have a track record of doing that. Whilst it hasn't been of my making or choosing that this happened, uh, I have been approached by colleagues, by party members and by supporters over the last couple of days who have encouraged me to nominate. Both insist they're right for the job. I do believe that I can offer the enthusiasm and experience that the LNP is looking for to take up the fight to the Palaszczuk Labor government. The incumbent has been less public, preferring private discussions and party room process. We've got that opportunity on Friday and, uh, and everyone, it's a democratic party and they have a democratic opportunity to express their views and I look forward to Friday. Jeff Seney, one of the movers behind Campbell Newman's short-lived ascent to power, is to move the spill motion. If it succeeds, the two Tims take on Lawrence Springborg. With a hung parliament, any new leader needs to deal with the cross benches. At least three are concerned about urban MPs replacing a country member at the party helm. We really see a risk or a threat to um, you know, having some momentum there and, and achieving things for rural and regional Queensland if you lose someone that um, doesn't have that same empathy or attachment to those issues. Independent MP Rob Pine has concerns about Tim Nicholls' previous role in championing asset sales in the Newman government. The people of Queensland have spoken. I accept that, uh, I accept that resolution. He also worries Tim Manders' strong Christian views may affect his policy approach. Live now to George Roberts at State Parliament. George, who has the numbers? Well, Karina, at this stage, it appears that nobody's claiming confidence that they've got the numbers needed. The candidates have gone quiet now as they call around their colleagues, attempting to firm up support. As one MP from one camp said, though, there have been lots of calls of encouragement, but that doesn't translate to votes in the party room. And a number of MPs from multiple sides have expressed that nobody knows the final numbers and may not until tomorrow morning. If in the first round there's no clear winner, then the top two candidates will battle it out in a second ballot. Either way, we'll know sometime tomorrow. We will indeed. George Roberts there at State Parliament.